today I'm going to show you how to add a DOS game to your mini Nintendo and use the DOS box core configured so you can run it with a controller all that good stuff so anyways you're going to go to FileWad just like you would with anything else I have it set for all files which it should be you're going to want to collect the executables when you do DOS games Now where it says the bin XE, that is the format that the game is in. You're going to go up to modules. The DOS box one says bin forward slash DOS box. So you want to change it to that. And you can change the name like you do with anything else. Now here's where things get a little bit tricky. You have the executable, but you do not have the rest of the dependencies to run the game. So you could go into your games folder, and there's two ways you could do this. You could look up the ID number and search for it when you're in the games folder. Like so. I'm doing the VUZZU. And the folder shows up that way. Or you could have a right click, sort by date modified, and you should be able to find the most current folder that you just added right there. So I'm going into that folder. I have my keen executable right there. Now I have the actual <clears throat> download for Commander Keen here, and you want to copy all the files in that directory. Then I'm going to paste them into that folder that's in the games folder of Hakshi. Now that that's all said and done, you just have to sync the games and the game will be on there and make sure that you have the DOSBox module installed. Add artwork, all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm going to switch it over to the mini and I'm going to run Commander Keen and show you how you do the controls. So we have Commander Keen here, ready to go. First thing you're going to want to do is to select and start to open up the options. Now you would think like some different uh, H mods, you would go into the controls and remap these. You cannot do that the way you normally would with other ones. You have to do this a different way. So I'm going into options, and where you have all of these, retro pad, Y, X, B, A, L, R, up, down, left, right, select, start, you want to remap these to the keyboard controls. And if you look at how I have it set up right now, and I may change this, but I have start is enter, select is escape, right is right, left is left, down is down, up is up. I didn't do anything with my R and L yet. I have the B and A for left control and left out. And I have Y as A, X as B. Now that that's done, I'm going to machine type. And I'm changing that to SVGA S3. You can run other ones too, but that's just what I decided to do. I have gamepad emulated mouse enabled. For controls, I set user one device type to mapper to reflect the key binds that I did with the uh, keyboard controls. Now that that's all done, I'm letting the game play. It's saying decompressing graphics. And there we go, we're in. I've never actually played this game, but I've heard good things about it, so I'll give this some time. Now that I have all the keyboard controls mapped to the controller, I can actually play the game. I'm sure some of you guys were completely frustrated at the success of getting the game on the mini, but could not figure out how to do the control, so we're so frustrated and, and annoyed at it. Anyways, here we go. 
And for the record, this game also had a version on the Game Boy Color, if you want more Commander Keen. But now that you know how to do this, you should be able to play virtually any DOS game that you want to play, within compatibility reason of the Mini Nintendo. Now I'll briefly show you the Game Boy Color version, and then you guys can have fun trying this out. Commander Keen Game Boy Color. Again, I did not know about this game until you guys recently kept mentioning try DOSBox, try DOSBox. So I gave it a shot, and Commander Keen's a great game. I'd love more recommendations. And there's a lot more uh, Commander Keen games to add, so I'll add more DOSBox games and I'll try to get the whole set in there. So it has the look and feel of the other one, just with slightly upgraded graphics, but if you're a Commander Keen fan, you got more to play now. Interest in music, interest in gameplay. So I'm, I'm definitely going to try out some more DOS games, and whatever you guys recommend, I'll try, and I'll try to get them on the mini. So hope you enjoyed the video, and have fun playing DOSBox now that you can.